the clash at the castle happening tomorrow or today depending on where you live it's going to be 10 a.m uh pacific 1 p.m eastern and then if you're in the uk where the event is taking place it's going to be happening at five or six six i think would be london time so yeah the first pay-per-view or, or live special event for the wwe uh, major one anyway uh, to happen in the uk since 2002 with insurrection only six matches announced so far but at the time of making this smackdown has not happened yet so if they announce another match or if they add a late pre-show match like they usually do those are not being ranked i'm gonna go ahead and rank what i think about these videos or excuse me what i think about these matches and uh this should be a quick one unlike the AEW one that i will have coming out tomorrow because all out has 14 matches i appreciate these short wwe ones though Clash at the Castle, we have a six-man tag between Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, Asuka, and a returning, or returned, I suppose. Um, why, why are names escaping me? Very simple name. Very, I, Alexa Bliss, jeez. Alexa Bliss against uh, Sky and Kai, Io Shirai and Dakota Kai. I somehow activated my Alex. Bailey, six man tag. Um, it should be solid, honestly. Uh, all these women are great. And yeah, I mean, these are. This isn't going to be like a six man tag where they have women who un unfortunately just can't go. I mean, who's the worst woman in this match, wrestling ability wise? Alexa Bliss, and she has a ton of star power. Dakota Kai, I guess, but she's great. Um, yeah, this match should be pretty good. Asuka and Io Shirai in the same match is fantastic. Next, we have the Intercontinental Champion, uh, Gunther, for, former Walter, versus Sheamus. I'm really, really excited about this match. Should be great. Huge fan of Gunther, who's a huge fan of his Intercontinental title run, uh, restoring some prestige to the title, in my opinion. I think Sheamus is an awesome uh, challenger for him, especially in the UK. I think this match is going to be uh, real, real hot. We have a tag match with Rey Mysterio and Edge versus the Judgment Day, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. Will Rey's son, Dominic, turn on him and join the Judgment Day? Unsure there. This one, tag match, I mean, it's probably going to be solid. All these guys are good. Um, again, who's the worst guy in this match? Edge, because he's old. But Edge's matches have been good since he came back. Damian Priest is good. Um, Rey and Finn are, are fantastic, so... Solid match. Uh, it shouldn't be anything less. We have Matt Riddle. He got his first name back, I believe, on Raw. I saw that. Versus Seth freaking Rollins. Um, a match got very, very heated in their interview on Monday. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. The match should be great. Um, though that is kind of the thing with Riddle and Rollins matches. Both of them have a knack of... of they both are always capable of performing a good match. And just sometimes it just doesn't happen, uh, oddly. I don't know. I, I guess that does happen to everybody, but they're some ones that... I think this will be a great match, but Rollins and Riddle sometimes under-deliver, under so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, SmackDown Women's Championship, Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler. Going to go ahead and put in mediocre. Mediocre here, meaning average. Um, sometimes that word used to mean, like, bad. I, I just mean this is going to be an average match. It's going to be a, a two or three stars out of five. It's not going to blow anybody away. Shayna Baszler is a great technical wrestler, but I don't think she has the wow factor that a lot of these other uh, participants have. Liv Morgan also not the greatest in the ring. She's not bad. Um, her finally getting a title ring is cool, um, though Shayna beating her here would make sense in my opinion. I'm going to say this is going to be a mediocre match. I hope it's not bad. Finally, we have the main event with Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. The pop when McIntyre comes out, and the pop if he actually were to win the title, would be, like, on another low, on another planet, um, in another country, literally speaking. Uh, gonna be a great match, I do think. It's gonna be so hot that it's gonna be a great match no matter what. Um, but I don't think that any of these matches on these cards are gonna be match of the year. But really, a nice little show, I think it's gonna be well worth watching how hot that crowd's going to be. You can watch it on Peacock if you're in the U.S. or if you're outside on the WWE Network. And yeah, this is happening at the times I said at the beginning of the video. Let me know if you're watching in the future how the matches were. And thank you for watching.
I'll be back with another AEW video tomorrow about their pay-per-view. Have a good one.